Hello, I'm on my way into Cardiff. My camera's back, my Canon 90D is back. It's been repaired, I can't wait, I'm gonna go and pick it up now. It's been extremely wet on the way here, but it, the sun is just coming out now. You can see some little splashes of sunlight on the brickwork there. Oh, come on, run, 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 run. Oh, he works here, he wasn't trying to get on. We're just pulling out of Pontypris station at the moment. Look at those yucky looking clouds up there. I think we're gonna have another downpour. Well, I was all set to have a day at home today, but then the phone rang and it was the camera shop. So of course I dropped everything and I'm heading straight into Cardiff. I'm about to get off. We're coming up to Cardiff Central. Yay, it's not raining. Right, I'm going straight to the camera shop. And do you know what I'm thinking? I don't think I should be that long in the camera shop, so when I'm out, since I'm in Cardiff anyway, I might have a little look around the shop, see if there's anything on sale that might take my fancy. So, do we think it's gonna rain? Look at those clouds. Well, that was timing literally the second after I filmed that shot, big raindrops started to land on my head. Guess who has the new camera back and has got a new lens so I can get in much closer now. Oh, I am so excited. I have some work to do with it now. I need to stick some wind jammers on the mic because otherwise you'll get wind noise when I'm outside. And I thought where better to get myself organised than Cafe Nata and Co. So I got myself a little brioche which is vegetarian and a flat white. I don't know if I'm imagining this, but this seems to be more full of stuffing than usual, which is very good because it's lovely and juicy and succulent and tasty. And the coffee, oh, it's always delicious in here. Town is busy. I can't film anywhere without getting crowds of people in it at the moment. Anyway, I'm in Queen Street and I've decided what I'm going to do. Because it's like, you know, post-Christmas. I'm going to pop in WH Smith's and go to the clearance zone and just see... And just see... <laughs> so I thought he was looking to me. <laughs> and just see um, if there's any bargains to be found that might suit me. Come on. Okay, scrap that. We're in the works. Look, the wrapping paper's down to 50 pence for Christmas wrap. If I didn't have loads left over, I might buy some of that and put it in my loft, but I don't need it. Not everything's reduced, but quite a few things are. Wow, it'd be raining out there. I've dived into WH Smith's now. Their Christmas gift wrap's on sale too. 199 There's like a whole wall of reduced stuff. Pretty quiet in here actually. There is a post office around the corner there in WH Smith's in Queen Street in Cardiff. I did not know that. That's where I'm heading. I know I love my escalator shots, don't you? Well, this Christmas wrap is one pound roll. Monopoly down to 12 quid. I don't know how much it normally is. I think we've all seen hand sanitizer reduced, haven't we? Look, I've settled on this two pound for loads of self-adhesive labels. You put them in the printer, but of course you could just write on them with your hand if you want to. I don't have any at home. So yeah, I just quickly Googled the average price of them and that's pretty economical. You got lots of pencil cases reduced to clear, but I don't think they're that cheap to be honest. I wouldn't get them. I'm going to head to the checkout with these. I'm gonna head back, I think. It's crowded in town. I mean, it wasn't crowded in the bookshops, but it's crowded everywhere else. It's absolutely peeing down with rain. It's coming down really heavy at the moment. I've ducked into St. David's Centre to get out of the rain. There's a train in about 20 minutes, and if I get this one, it won't be as crowded as the next one because it's coming to rush hour now. The rain's actually stopped for two seconds there. I thought I'd get a nice shot of those lights while they're still there. <sighs> Took the lift up. Not that I particularly need to go up in the lift, but I thought it might be quicker. Okay. Squeezing in. I think I'll sit by here. <sighs> the state of my hair. I'm not like normal YouTubers. <sighs> we will shortly be arriving at Cardiff Queen Street. That big bowl you see in front of you there is actually the toilet. It's a lovely big one with wheelchair access. Very nice toilets and these trains. Just coming into Queen Street at the moment. I'm putting a bit of charge on my phone while I get the opportunity. I just arrived home and look, there's mail. Looks like a Christmas card. We had um, postal strikes here in the UK, so a lot of the Christmas post was delayed. Ah, oh, yeah, look at the state of this room. Well, the thing is, you see, I was thinking in order to get this new lens that I am filming with right now, I might trade in some old cameras. So I went digging around in the understairs cupboard for them, didn't I? Because I haven't unpacked them since I moved 
to this house, but I could only find one and I couldn't find the lead to charge it and I didn't know if there was stuff on the massive SD card like this big that he wanted like you know three-year-old Isabel and stuff like that so I thought oh, I'll leave it for another time I'm bound to want more stuff from that shop anyway then of course I was rushing for the train so oh I've got a flashing light on here that's kind of scary don't know why oh still flashing I think it might just be because I'm recording anyway I'm flipping starving luckily for me there's loads of food I can just eat because you know it was recently Christmas I'm gonna have crackers and cheese and things like that here's my picky platter look I've got gherkins cucumber two different types of cheese grapes cheddars party mix uh chili crisp things and some of these corn things as well which I've, I've finished the packet now got you on a tripod now then without any further ado i've got two people to thank for donations to the channel is deborah and lynn thank you so 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 much it's like getting a christmas bonus so thank you so so much i really appreciate it anyway right i've got a christmas card here a belated one it's got really friendly looking writing on it <laughs> My favourite, but I bought these. Right, is this a prank? I don't know, it doesn't say. To Imogen and Izzy, wish you both a wonderful Christmas and New Year. Love the videos there, fab. All the best, keep up the cheeriness. But it doesn't say who it's from. These are exactly the same ones that I bought and I said this was my favourite one. Who was this from? <laughs> it's like Valentine's Day, getting an anonymous one. Well, I never used to get Valentine's Day cards. So there we are. But anyway, right, this is my shopping now. Oh, you can't see that. Ooh, it's pants and spoons. I've been wanting long spoons for absolutely forever because when I'm getting my yoghurt out of my big pots, you know, it's the little teaspoons are too small and I keep getting yoghurt all over my fingers. Oh, that needs cutting or something. Got it. A little bit sharp around the edge. They were very cheap though. Basically I wanted to buy something cheap so I didn't have to pay for the postage for my, my pants from Amazon. <laughs> they were nearly 20 quid. So anyway, yes. But anyway, I'm still glad I've got them even though they're a little bit scratchy around the edge. I'll leave a link in the description anyway <laughs> if you want some cheap long-handled teaspoons. I got a set of four. Right, I just, I can't believe this camera's not repeatedly going out of focus. I'm, you just have no idea what kind of heaven I'm in right now. Hey, that's me pants. <laughs> now if these were racy in any sort of way, I wouldn't show them on the channel, but they're the least sexy underwear a woman could buy. And yep, ooh. Oh, they're different. These are not like the ones I had before. <laughs> the other ones were more trunky. Oh no, I think they might have sent me the wrong ones, you know, because I ordered boxers. I'll have to check my order. These are not boxers. No, this is this is not big enough for me. My pantage comes down lower. Right. Mm. Oh, that's disappointing. I don't like these. I mean, I draw them out of desperation, but given that they were the best part of 20 quid, I think I'd rather send them back and get the ones I wanted. Oh, I'll check see what I ordered yeah I ordered these with legs in these do not have legs in I'm gonna send them back what a pain in the backside I've got to send something of IB's back that I bought him for Christmas as well I bought him a t-shirt and it is massive it looks like a tent on him so that's got to go back as well but I didn't do that today because I ended up going to Cardiff right that's very mysterious about that card <laughs> It's really friendly writing. Well, I can show you, can't I? Because there's no name on it. I'm not like disclosing anyone's identity there. <laughs> <sighs> My daughter is due home any minute now. So I am gonna say thank you very much for watching this video. Could you please give it a like if you liked it. It really helps the channel to grow. The likes help to have it pushed out to a wider audience, which helps the channel to grow. So I really appreciate that. And if you're new here and would like to watch more videos from me here in South Wales, do hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.